Hi everybody, my name is Tom Solid. I'm the founder of the Paperless Movement and I welcome you back if you're one of my community. And if you're not, check this video out and then decide to subscribe. Today I want to show you something exciting. An app, I think it's really underestimated. It's a journaling app, okay? And if you're doing a daily journal, obviously you come across day one. Everybody knows day one who wants to do a you know run a diary and so on the problem with day one is that you only can write uh, type text and insert some pictures and so on it's very limited in my opinion so recently it's got an audio recording function and so on but that's the one that's the app that is actually promoted in uh, on the app store and i'm not really i don't really know why this is the case. I, I tried to use it, I really tried to use it. Um, I stopped using it, okay? You can send everything to, to day one. It's a very good integration with uh, IFTTT, but one thing is missing. And if you're watching my channel, you know I'm all about this handwriting thing on the iPad and you cannot write with your Apple Pencil in day one. So if you want to have a traditional diary there going on, it's not possible. And here I will show you an app where this is possible and even more. So stay tuned. So the app I want to talk about today is called Diary. And I really think it should be pushed more because uh, it's really underestimated. And compared to day one, it is so much more like a daily journal. So I have an empty version here loaded, so I can really show you what is going on. So let's just start and make a note. Just this, tap this plus button. And then like in day one, you can actually write a title and write something else. And that's it, done. First note done for today. So we have one post, it will be in my timeline and um, it will be in my today thing and it will be on my atlas so if i zoom in here and i tap there i will find my notes okay okay but let's go back to our note and in this notes you see it's located it even well you can switch off the automatic tagging but what is there you will have the date the the street where you've written this and you even have the temperature on the outside which is all added there as well you have this in day one two is of course and then you can add tags so you can create tags like test tag so i know now this is my test and i then i will see later when i go to the text section i have the test tag and i will get all the notes with this tag going on okay Okay, that's awesome, isn't it? But now we come to this. You see the little um, pen up there? If I press this, just a new note will open where you can start writing. So you can adjust the, uh, the line width, which is this. That's just how your line will look like, okay? And then you can change the line color, of course. And uh, yeah, undo and clear the whole canvas, okay? So what else can we do here? So we can choose from several different types, like uh, this paper bag or, you know, the bullet list, noisy graph. So there's lots of um, templates going on there, what you can choose from to write on, okay? So let's just use a lined one and then just let's start, start to write something. So this is a test and change the color this is a test so the writing itself feels very fluid however this is very limited isn't it so you can write the diary is like this and it's fine and all but obviously compared to a note-taking app you cannot, you cannot really compare it because it's very limited. All you can do is just write. I'm sure for most of you that's enough. Just 
for, for daily journaling, that's all you want to do. So what you have now, so we have two nodes now, you see this going on and then I can just go here, edit it and then I can keep writing in there. And then you see here already that you can just write more and then you have another line there or you just tap on this or you just go out again and uh, tap on this and then you can just press edit and then you can go in there and change things. So I think that's very important that you can do this afterwards too. Okay, what you also can do, obviously you can edit and then you can do all the other stuff you know from you know from um, day one and I think there's even more you can do like um, choosing some templates like um, Dream Journal, Gradle so if you know my ebook there's a chapter only about journaling and the different types how you do journals like dream journal, daily journal and so on. So you will know loads of these uh, in there as well. And then I can just use this template and then you have some questions you can use every day and add your response. So you have a daily routine to add your stuff there. So what else? If you go in there, edit and then we can add a picture, just add a picture there. So can, you can choose more done and uh, like in day one you can do this obviously in day one as well um, it will add the picture and there it is there's the picture there's not much more you can do with this picture unfortunately but that's it but you can see it was blinking up there and when you tap on there it will just suggest the um, the geolocation from this picture and I can just take this for my note and so it will just include it into my note, okay? So I also can uh, record or pick from a library a movie. So you see this way I can choose the movie and then I can just go through this movie and use and then it compresses the movie and there it is, it's on top there and now it is running and I can go full screen and it works perfectly. So you can even add movies into your note, okay? Then of course, audio recording is already there. So they one just implemented it and we have it here. So we just press record. Hello, this is a test. Let's just record some test uh, footage. Stop and then Okay, you can't hear anything now but it's working and then we just use it and there it is here's our test footage okay so we have the audio just in line with all the other stuff so we could just even answer these questions we have there so let's just make one more note let's see what else is there so we have seen the sketch we can add text so we have saying this so just add a tag, we can add a mood. So I was cheerful today and the velocity even of the mood. So it will just um, add the mood and here you will see this later. And then even the health conditions. If you had any, um, if you didn't feel well or anything, there's a lot of things going on in here. And um, let's just see, easy one, headache and then how strong it is and it will add it to the note. Then we have a flag there, so milestone, like yeah, started school. Let's see what else is there. So here's the geotag, so we can remove the location that it was actually found and we can just see um, for our own where it is. We can add um, the time and we can change the weather and here is just um, things going on, like if you want to add a quote, you can add a quote in here, or the text color, you can change everything in here. I am not sure, I am. I can't actually remember a lot from uh, day one. I used it half a year, but it's already more than half a year ago I used it, so I don't know how what they improved or what not, but um, I think 
everything you get from day one you have in this as well but in addition you have the possibility to write down things okay so of course uh, this link is in the description below again and now you see here the note we have with the milestone and our mood and the test and so on. So you can even add afterthoughts. So when you have something in discussion going on and so on, and one year later, maybe you take this out, or maybe a one mon month later, you already changed your mind in things. You can go into this note and just create afterthought, write something down there, and then there you have it. So you have just additional minds adding to your notes you did there. I think that's a really, really good thing going on. And very good thing, you don't have to reg register on any cloud service by the app. You can just synchronize either, you just store it locally, which I never recommend because if anything happens, um, this will be gone. Or you can sync it via iCloud and I think that's really great having this. So here you can go full screen. I think really the whole um, usage so you can also add passcode or reminders if you want to be reminded for about something and um, you can change to five star favorites so if we have any note going on here i can mark this as a favorite and then i can say okay that's you know in five star thing not only one star but you can change it to five star so i really think that's that's a great thing to do there so you can even go in here and chat with them so if you have any question you can check chat directly with the customer service so this is awesome i think everything you're adding to your notes you can access via the perspective sections and i really like this and of course you have the favorite sections here Either you use a digital journal that you can um, integrate into your notability and good notes and so on and use it there where you can also jump to, to the month and so on. And, but it's only for writing down notes. Um, this is included in the ebook bundle. So you get the ones for 2018, 2019 in the ebook bundle. So you can do uh, digital journaling like this. But if you really want to make more in-depth um, digital journal and more detailed journaling, where you really want to remember what weather was there, um, you know, where was I and not writing down everything, but I want to have a automated function in there, then I think diary is really the one to go for, especially if you want to do handwritten notes. And let me know in the comments below, is it any better as day one? Or maybe you want to convince me from day one again. So let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you liked the video, just give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I see you next time.